Hey guys, this is William and welcome to the next video in the series where we will be discussing outfits. So outfits are in essence different appearances that your character can take throughout the game. So each appearance that your character has is what we call an outfit. Uh, you know, as a practical example, think about you know, puzzles like Monkey Island where you had to dress up as someone else or, you know, you wear a disguise or you, you put on a moustache, those sort of puzzles. And that's what, what this is about. This is about those different outfits that represent, um, you know, different appearances for our character. So go and open the 12.2 uh, outfits VD file and this will be the file that we work in. So the first thing is, where do we create outfits? Okay, so outfits are created in the character area, right here. Right now, I only have my main character. Now, notice that when I've chosen my main character, I have this area right here, where we have our outfits. Now, we have got an unnamed outfit. And that is the default outfit that gets created whenever a character is created. So if I create a new character here, you'll see that it also has a default one, right? So I'm going to remove that back on my main character. I am going to rename this to something more appropriate. So I'm going to press F2 on the keyboard and I'm going to call this default. Now this is my default outfit. Now the first thing to note is when I click on this little plus icon, I see different items here. Now remember, we are now looking at the default outfit. The default outfit that gets assigned when you play your scene. So if I run the game here, this, the white shirt that my character is wearing, this is the default appearance, the default outfit. That's what, he's, what he has at the moment. Uh, now what you'll see is, when I move around, different graphics are displayed. And we have covered this a bit previously, so I'm not going to delve too deep in it. But the point here is I want to show you that each outfit contains several images that, um, that gives the appearance of that outfit. So here we have all these walk animations, we have these standing animations, and so on. So that forms part of the default outfit. So now we want to create a new outfit. And to do that, make sure you click on the Outfits option at the top and click the plus button. So you see, now it's created a second outfit that we can work with. And I will rename this again. Select it, press F2, and I will call this Red Outfit. Okay. Now, here we have our default. If I click there, I see all the animations that contains, that belongs to that outfit. Here I can see I have the exact same, but I don't have graphics assigned here, okay? So in each outfit, we have all of these items that we need to look at. But I will only focus on the red outfit. Now what we wanna do is we want to change from, from a white shirt character there to a red shirt character, right? So he's gonna change his shirts. That's gonna be the outfit change. Now to do that, we need to add in the red shirt graphics here. Here, we have our right walk, but we don't have the equivalent for the red outfit. So let's, let's add that. So click on the add frame. This window will appear, click on that little three dots, and here we have our options. So we will now choose, this was the front, so it's this one, and I'm going to click Open. And then I'm going to click OK. Now make sure that the items are the same size in whatever graphics program you work with. That's the first thing, otherwise you will get a bit of a, a issue here. The second is you need to set the animation center. Now, because our character is changing, um, is changing outfits, uh, basically the same uh, different colored shirt, 
we need to ensure that the animation center is the same between th this, this, and this. So here is the animation center. Now, if he changes to the red shirt, let's, let's do this. I am going to put my animation center there. If he changes to the red shirt, you're going to have an issue with the graphics. It's going to jitter off to one side and not be properly aligned. So it's going to look weird. Okay, so what we can do is here, we look at these numbers, the X and the Y. So we have 151496. And let's reproduce it here. 151496. Okay. And if I now switch between the two, I can see it's exactly the same. Okay. So let's do do the same for the rest of the items. If I click on my back, I want to add in my back image here. Okay. Back the numbers here, 146497. One, six, seven, let's see, yeah, that's fine. And now we want to do the same for the left. So now keep in mind what I'm doing is usually when you set the animation center, you can click there and set it. But I am just directly typing it in here and it's setting it for me. And then we have the right. And I'm adding my graphic. Okay, so now my walking animations matches perfectly and what the player will see is they will see a change of outfit. Okay. Now you need to do the same for the standing as well, right? Because this is the walking and this is the standing. In a later video, we'll deal with how to, de how to implement the actual animations where he walks. Okay, but for now, we're just going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to choose my front. I'm going to check the numbers, 153496. Check again. Always good to check and check. So there, there, perfect. Back. Let's see. Perfect. Left. Left and let's do the last one. Right. So we now have two outfits and we're happy that it's got everything it needs. If I had created an outfit and let's say I left out this walking animation, whenever my character would move forward, there would be no image. So it's important if it's in this instance, then you need to uh, have it match the default one um, if it's a complete change. Right, so now we have our two outfits. This is the default that our character wears. He wears this white shirt. And now we want him to change to the red shirt at some sort of point in time. Now, the way we do this is we use actions. And I am going to have my character change uh, outfits when he uses this door. So I'm going to go to my scenes. I'm going to choose my, my hallway. And I'm going to choose my door. And then here, I'm going to go to my actions. And here I have look and I have use. 
So when I use something right now, nothing happens. But what we want to have happen is when you use the door, uh, our character changes outfit. So let's now add a new action part and then click on character and then change outfit. Right. And then here we choose, we click there and we say, what do we want? We want our main character to change his outfit to the red shirt. Okay. So now save and let's see if that worked. So I'm going to go and I'm going to right click on use door. And there we go. Our character has now changed his shirt. Uh, and as a last step, let's add a dialogue in uh, and have our character say something just to give it more context for what's happening. So I'm going to just move. I added a, I added a display text here. I'm going to move that up and my character will say, I feel like I need to change my shirt. And there we go. So let's run it again. Perfect. And that's outfits. And there are so many permutations of this and things that you can actually achieve with this. So let your mind go a bit on how you can actually apply it in game. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.